Right, good morning, everybody. We're just going to give it half a minute while we let everybody into the webinar, and then Sophia will start the presentation. So come in, bring your coffee, and we look forward to starting in just a moment. All right, good morning, everybody. I think that is exactly half a minute. That's probably very Swedish time of me to start exactly now, but um, I think let's get cracking if everyone is here. So very good morning. Uh, my name is Sophia. I am the Digital Engagement Director based in Stockholm, Sweden. Uh, many of you have probably heard my voice before, either on uh, one of these calls or perhaps at a total beauty training or maybe even in Stockholm. But yes, I head up the digital engagement team. So um, hopefully I can give you lots of good tips for you to take away with you today. So hopefully you'll have a piece of paper or a pen or a Word document open, ready to jot down some notes. Because for today, for about 40 to 45 minutes, we are gonna be talking about getting new virtual VIPs through the draw. I am gonna give you 10 must-have hacks to help you build your customer base online via largely, I would say, social media. How does that sound? Now, if you have any questions today, one of the things I'd like you to do is to pop them in the questions field. If we have time, I will get to them at the end. If not, uh, Mary will pop them over to me via email afterwards and I will make sure that I get back to you all. But I would like to trial using the questions and chat function a little bit. So I might ask you questions throughout this session today. Please show me some engagement. I'm sure all of you have been doing a lot of Zoom calls and lives and stuff, and you know what a difference it makes when people put a comment in the field. It really gets you going and you feel like there are people on the other end of the call. So I'm gonna ask you to do that for me today. So if I ask something, say yes in the chat or uh, volunteer some answers, uh, it should feel collaborative. And I want you to leave feeling like you've really learned something and you've engaged. So let's start with those 10 hacks. How does that sound? Good? Tell me if you think it's good. Um, hack number one. Everything starts with the products. Okay, first and foremost, that's what it is about. It is about the products. Now, let's uh, have a think a little bit about these. Um, Sorry, I, I'm just having a technical issue at the moment, everybody. I'm sorry about that. Let me just go back. Can everyone see my screen still? We can see, see you, yeah. We can? Okay, good. Sorry, my um, laptop just went black while I was presenting. So my apologies for that. Um, it all starts with the products. Um, so what do I mean by that? Maybe that sounds very obvious, but selling First and foremost, it's really the art of matching product benefits with customer needs or desires, right? So you really need to know two things first and foremost. One, you need to know the product you're selling. You need to know it inside out. The second thing you need to know is the desires of your audience. And if you know these two things, you know about the product and you know the desires of your audience, you're on the right track for getting selling. So what I want you to do, and jot this down, I want you to think about every question a prospect might ask you about the product you're selling. And I want you to, you to arm yourself with the answers. I want you to link each product fact to a customer benefit. So let me give you an example. Our Swedish spa hand mask has highly nourishing um, almond oil in it. So that's a product fact. If we limit them to, uh, link it then to a customer benefit, it's about, okay, if you've got dry and cracked hands from overwashing at the moment, this ingredient is perfect for solving that need, right? So start with the products, start with the customer itself and their needs, and then the product benefits that you're going to use to address them. And a really good hack that I've got for doing this is this triangle. 
Now, this triangle uh, is, is what we call kind of a, a flywheel of success. It's a three-pronged approach to sales. And it's a tried and tested formula um, that we use our friends too, you know, even in head office when we're looking at how we build a good story and how we drive sales. We know that we need to do these three things to get results. So that is, you need to think about claims and credibility. You need to think about the science, the results, the technical stuff behind a product. Then a really great way to sell, and many of you will already be familiar with this, is the idea of seeing to believe, right? You need to be able to demonstrate, to show that this product works. And now more than ever, you have to do it visually, right? Um, so we'll go through a few examples. And then finally, you need to mitigate any risks. So when it comes to selling online, I want you to think about these three things. Jot them down because it's a really good thing to think about. And I'll give you some examples of how you do it. So if we start with claims and credibility, a great, great place to start is to talk about clinical testing, consumer testing, patented ingredients. Now you can find all of this information on the products philosophy and beauty by Sweden section of the website. So read up a bit about this, familiarize yourself with these concepts if you haven't already. And this is going to be kind of the backbone to yourself, some of our more complicated products, in particular skincare and wellness work really well when you back it up with the science and the tests. Then you've got the C to believe, right? And here are some great examples of how you can work with seeing to believe. One is looking at the ratings and reviews that we have on the website. What are impartial people saying about these products? Share this, share your own opinion of the product, but share what other people are saying too. We've been doing some amazing things in terms of PR in the UK. I am so, so proud of the great coverage we've been getting. Publications like The Mirror, you know, which is a really reputable um, newspaper, is sharing that some of our products are fantastic, that they love the Swedish spa soft tied hand mask. On the weekend, we also got a cover some coverage in Stylist magazine talking about our nail hardener, for example. These are great stories to share on your social media to really give the proof that we have fantastic products and esteemed publications think so too. Then I have this great example um, from Samantha here, uh, which is showing the products in action. So before and after pictures are a fantastic way of um, showing what the products look like, the results that they drive in an instant way. Now video is very, very effective. If you're not um, ready to show you know, short videos, for example, even though I think you all should, before and after pictures are a great way to do it. And of course showing products pictures of the products themselves, which illustrate texture and give you that sense of what they're really like, right? And then the risk bit. So you've got the claims and credibility, you've got the seeing to believe, the product in action, and then you've got this very, very important, our 30-day money-back guarantee. This is a huge draw and safety as well. At the moment, I don't even need to tell you this, but consumers are being particularly cautious when it comes to buying online make them feel safe and share all the great work that we're doing to make sure that our products are safe and are in good hands, okay? So this is a great sort of flywheel of how you can be selling products online, okay? So you start with consumer and clinical testing, the science, see to believe, and then finally, low, low risk. So let me show you how this works in action. So openly on the, your business page and groups and profile page, I've seen some of you working with this uh, um, method of I recommend. It's fantastic, well done, keep it going. Telling people why you love the product openly is a great way to get engagement. So here's a good way of how you could use that triangle and integrate it in. So here's why I love the product. It's clinically proven to reduce excess oil. And it's super easy to apply and I've been using it for two weeks and already seen an amazing improvement in my skin. And this is a picture from Danielle Gooch, a video that she recently did that I watched and thought was absolutely fantastic, showing this Novage range in action. So if you haven't seen uh, Danielle's uh, live stream, please have a look at it. You can find it under the hashtag I went live today stream because I thought it was a really, really strong example of matching, again, this clinical element with um, 
with results and instant, you know, being able to see to believe. Really, really good work, Daniel. Good work, Danielle's on the call. Um, congratulations. But then in direct message, again, this hack to get virtual VIPs. This is how you can use this uh, flywheel in action. So here's an example of some copy. I know you've mentioned you feel self-conscious about the breakouts you've been getting since you stopped breastfeeding. Well, this product is clinically proven to tackle oil and reduce the appearance of pore size immediately after the first use, and it's currently on offer. If you don't like it, you can always send it back within 30 days, and in case you're concerned, I want to ensure you that we're following very strict safety precautions at Oriflame. And then, of course, if you accompany that with a before and after picture, you've got a fantastic sales message. And just a quick tip here as well, don't forget to direct people to the product page on your personal beauty store. Please remember, it's super important that you take people to the product page, not to the home page. If you take people to the home page, they're likely to get lost on their customer journey. They have to actively go and find that product. But on the product page itself, they're much more likely to shop from you. So I have seven actions for you to do right now. The first thing I want you to do is familiarize yourself with the product philosophy section of your personal beauty store. I want you to think, what could you share from there to build credibility in the products that you're promoting? Then I want you to copy and paste reviews on the product pages of the products you're promoting and add them to your social media copy. Post one review to a prospect today. The third thing I want you to do, uh, I want you to share photographs and videos of yourself using the products. Here's a tip. OK, so this is almost like your fourth thing. I want you to go and use the before and after templates in Oriflame Social and really highlight your results using that. I also want you to go to the press room and have a look at the as seen in the press stickers there. And you're going to stamp those on your post and plan a post for next week. And finally, I want you to have a think about these two things. One, I want you to think about how you're going to convey how it's safe to buy. And I want you to convey the return policy that we have that you are able to return your product within 30 days. Because again, this is going to help you build credibility. Are you with me? Do you all take on this challenge? Yes? I hope so. Fantastic, all right. So your second hack is telling people about exclusive offers. And one of the most exciting exclusive offers that we have at the moment is our VIP offer. Now, the VIP offer is a fantastic way to acquire customers. A little secret for you is that this actually originated in the Dutch market. So our Dutch consultants have been working with this and had such fantastic results that we're really driving and optimizing it with you guys in the UK and Ireland. So please have a think about how you can do this in a creative way. We have this fantastic product page, which is live on your per uh, personal beauty stores direct people there. And when somebody makes that purchase from you, remind them that they get 15% off within 30 days for £30. A great way of getting new people to shop from you again. So that's your second hack. I want you all to go out and I want you to promote this VIP bestsellers offer because it truly is something worth talking about. Then free shipping. Free shipping is a fantastic way to get people through the door. Now, how many of you have bought a product or spent more money on a website because they offered you free shipping or had a free shipping threshold that you had to meet? I'm putting up my hand now because I have to say I do that all the time. It is customer behavior. It's the way we act. And we're not alone, right? 58% of people say that they'll add additional uh, products to their cart to qualify for free shipping and 31% of people say that they'll join a loyalty program which is exactly the VIP program to qualify for free shipping so this needs to be something that you're talking about all the time remind people that if they spend 30 pounds they qualify for free shipping and also remind them that we have reduced shipping at the moment and it's for a limited time only. Again, creating that urgency is going to engage people and it's going to make them more likely to shop from you now. So if you're not talking about free shipping or you're not talking about the £2.50 shipping at the moment, please do it. And I want you to take on this challenge too. I want you to think about all the creative ways that you can push somebody to reach in that 30 pound threshold, right? Is it another product that they might be
be able to purchase that's going to push them there? You know, is it spending on a complementary product that's going to enhance their beauty or skincare routine even more? Is it perhaps promoting an inexpensive product? You know, a nail polish, for example, a lip balm that's a bestseller or that's on offer at the moment that's going to help them reach that threshold, help them get there because we know that it's custom behavior to want to. So remind them of the free shipping and help them reach it. That is a fantastic third hack for you there. Then, we've already talked about this, we've touched on it, but safety first. It really is an important one to discuss at the moment. Consumers are nervous. Consumers are worried about the products that they're buying, where they're coming from and how they're being looked after on their journey to them. And we've worked super, super hard at Oriflame, Oriflame to ensure the safety of our products and the safety of our employees that are working in our product facilities. Tell people about that. If you have seen our order safety uh, statement, uh, or if you haven't, sorry, seen our order safety statement, I really encourage you to click the link below, okay? And uh, visit it. It's live on all of your personal beauty stores at the moment. And go through each and every point. And um, if anything, it should really build pride with you. Um, but really have a look at it. And also another kind of good tip for you is that if you go to the Oriflame corporate site, which is a different site, it's our, if you Google Oriflame corporate site, you can also see our CEO Magnus's um, safety message that he's created. Okay, and have a read of that as well. And on Oriflame Social, you'll find a video which um, really illustrates and brings to life our safety statements as well. So familiarize yourself with the efforts that people are making at Oriflame to make your orders safe to produce and to receive and tell customers about it as well. Don't worry if you don't like that uh, hack number five is again a really good one you want to mitigate risk think again about at what point you introduce the conversation around money back guarantee at the end of the day the biggest advantage to offering a money back guarantee is that it removes the barrier to purchase by instilling trust with the customer and trust is super important at the moment if you're promoting products that can be perceived as being expensive, telling people that they're able to return that product if they want to is a fantastic way of making them think, OK, you know what? You feel super confident in this product, so confident that you would allow me to return it. And I'll tell you a secret. It's very unusual for people to return our products. It doesn't happen much at all. But making people feel safe and secure at this time in particular is what's going to help you take that sale online, especially with new people. OK, hack number six, trend. Being on trend at the moment. I want to tell you a bit of a story. Um, there are brands that at the moment and brand representatives that have really struggled, I would say, to be on trend or to adjust to our new reality. And I'll give you an example of one. Um, J. Crew just uh, filed for bankruptcy. I don't know if everyone knows J. Crew. And uh, there was an interesting article that was written about why J. Crew has gone bankrupt. Now, of course, there are multiple reasons why. But in this particular article that was, um, I think it was live on the New York Times, one of the things that they referenced was how on the J. Crew website, there was a picture of women and men riding a yacht out to sea and it said, you know, the skies are blue and it really just did not reflect the mood of their customers. Customers that were in lockdown at the moment, seeing beautiful people on a yacht somewhere off the coast of Italy, it didn't ring true, it didn't feel relevant and they were quite criticised actually for this. So what I would like to encourage you to do is to think about how is everything that you're posting on social media, everything that you're putting out there, how is it relevant to the reality of today? What are the discussions that are happening today as people are in lockdown? And how can you join them in a way that feels authentic and relevant and sincere? 
So to do that, you need to be aware of what is essentially trending because you're aware of the current situation because you're all living in it, right? Now, jumping on trend, it's largely about storytelling, okay? It's about presenting what you offer in the context of those trends. And often what can be very helpful is using the right hashtags, the hashtags that are trending to be discovered. So what I wanted to share with you now with some trends that are, are happening online with the accompanying hashtags so you could jump and join the conversation. How does that sound? Good? Perfect. Maybe some of you are doing this already. So trend number one is sleep skincare and hashtag locked in skin. Many of you will be suffering from this too, or if you're not, good for you. But my skin, I've had to mix up my skincare routine from being inside a lot because it's getting dry from being indoors. Um, so, you know, you, you have new problems, new issues, and you're having to address them with the relevant skincare. Perhaps you're using different complementary products at the moment to combat dryness in addition to your routine. This is a trending topic and people are talking about it and they're looking for advice around it. Um, so I want to encourage you to use these hashtags and join the conversation. So if people are suffering from their skin being dry and irritated or and when, you know, locks in skin can also be your hands, of course, and your body that, you know, skin is cracking, it's dry from overwashing. I want you to have a think about how you can join that conversation, talk about it. Again, go back to that flywheel and, you know, the uh, what we originally talked about starting the products and join this conversation. Sleep skincare is another big trend happening at the moment. It is a, about exactly that, it's about sleep. So consumers are looking for products that help them calm the mind and body in the evening and ensure they achieve good quality uninterrupted sleep to maintain overall well-being. This is from WGSN, who are a leading trend report provider. Right. So think about this. What products do you have in your arsenal that you can um, you can link to this trend? So any sleep routines, remedies for tired skins that you can um, promote are fantastic for joining this conversation at the moment. And it's going to make you feel really, really relevant. So one great example of this, of course, is the dream sleep range and the body and pillow mist. Have a think about how you could promote this online at the moment about calming the mind, calming the body. And of course, we have our Nove Age um, eight hours of sleep in a jar, as well as a great way of combating locked in skin. You know, for those people that are struggling with sleep, giving the illusion of great, uh, great skin, even if you're not sleeping those, those eight hours a night. So have a think about how you can drop, jump on this trend. Another trend or shift in behavior at the moment that we see is that people want to come together as communities. If we can't have physical contact, we still want to feel like we're part of a community. And you guys are so, so good at doing this anyway. But a hashtag to join that conversation is this, hashtag community spirit. Purposeful brands at the moment are, are you know, feeling extremely relevant. This is what people want to see. So don't forget to promote the fact that there are great things happening in the Oriflame world that you can talk about. Now, one example, of course, is our spring care pack, um, which for every uh, pack we sell, we give a pound to the NHS uh, charity. So again, promoting this, talking about it with pride, using the hashtag community spirit will make sure that you feel that you are relevant to the current discussion. Another great um initiative that's happening at the moment that I have to say I feel incredibly proud that we are joining this is the International Nurses Day um, charity initiative where you're able to nominate a care worker to receive a care package from Oriflame. Now this should make you feel incredibly proud but it's also going to make your customers feel proud as well that we are we are a purposeful brand and you're part of that. It gives you credibility and it builds the brand and by doing so it supports you in promoting products by default. Hashtag stay home beauty and hashtag at home beauty and hashtag self care. These are big trends at the moment as well. 
people want to uh, want to join this conversation, right? They want to look for stay home, stay home beauty hacks and at home beauty hacks and self care ones too. So what kind of categories fall into that? Well, things like face masks, for example, are really having a moment. You know, people are looking for ways to revitalize their skin from home. Hand masks as well, also having a, a real moment at the moment. Now, a good um, one of the best examples I've had of somebody joining this conversation and also incorporating before and after pictures in it is Eva Longoria. So, if anyone here is a um, Desperate Housewives fan, you might have uh, you might already follow Eva Longoria on Instagram. But if you don't, it's actually for a different beauty brand, so I'm not going to mention them here. But for some inspiration, I encourage you to follow her on Instagram and see what she's recently done from a before and after video perspective when it comes to dyeing her hair grey. And she uses this kind of self-care, at-home beauty, um, trending hashtags and topics as well to, to support it. So have a look at how she does it. And I want to encourage you to try to do something similar because it's very, very clever and it's a fantastic way of A, joining a conversation, B, feeling super, super relevant, C, promoting a product in a way that is inspiring and four, a great way to drive sales, right? So have a look at it. It's Eva Longoria's um, Instagram account. It's something she posted in the last few weeks and it's a before and after video specifically about uh, stay at home beauty and self care. So jumping and kind of in sort of continuing on this self care at home beauty, stay home beauty trend is the nail care trend. Nails are having a moment. There is a huge uptick in consumers taking beauty treatments into their own hands. Just an example, in the US, searches for DIY wax, waxing, for example, have gone up 284%. And we've seen a similar trend when it comes to at-home manicures. So I want you to have a think. What are the kind of treatments that people are normally doing in salons? So, you know, your facials, your manicures, your pedicures. And I want you to have a think about how you can create interesting content around that. Um, to promote the products that you are selling in the most relevant way. So that's a challenge for you. Have a think about how you could create, maybe it's a manicure Monday or um, something in that realm to really show how you can use our products in lockdown to create a relevant look. Now, if you're stuck for a bit of inspiration, please pop along to the beauty edit. Um, and into the video tutorial section. If you browse that, we've got some fantastic videos there already that show how you can do quick at home nail care, achieve glowing skin, uh, face massages, all of this kind of thing there already for you either to post directly from there if that's the way you want to go or to recreate with your own images or videos. So a hack there and a conversation for you to be joining. Another Big, big trend at the moment is the inner and outer beauty trend and beauty wellness. And these hashtags are big, big, big at the moment. So I encourage you to use them on your social media content as well. So what does that mean? That means taking our, um, our wellness products and thinking about how you can put them into a context. context. You know, the coronavirus is forging a reevaluation of what wellness and well-being means, right? It's thinking about inner health rather than, you know, uh, external markets. It's about the inner health and the inner well-being. And the supplement market is growing, right? People want to boost their immunity. They want to unwind. So I want you to think about what products do we have in our wellness portfolio and really, you know, educate yourself about them and think about how could you incorporate these into your dialogue online about building you know a healthy body healthy mind healthy habits and remember i want you to go back to that triangle we saw at the beginning of this presentation and think about okay what claims can you uh, promote you know what's the science side and how are you going to promote that what can you do when it comes to seeing is believing so maybe you want to do a 30-day challenge where you take the wellness pack every day and you talk about how you feel and you show results. 
Um, I saw a great example from a consultant in the UK the other day of talking about how they're using the nail supplements and they, and they showed their nails before they started them and afterwards. And it was so impactful. I thought, you know, gosh, I've got to get my hands on this product now. Again, seeing is believing. And remember, money back guarantee applies and it's coming from a safe place as well. So I challenge you to have a think about that as well. So those five trends I want you to uh, think about is the hashtag sleep, uh, sleep skincare, hashtag locked in skin, hashtag community spirit, hashtag stay home beauty and hashtag at home beauty and hashtag self care, hashtag nailed it, hashtag DIY beauty, and finally hashtag inner and outer hashtag beauty wellness. Think about how you can jump on those trends, feel relevant, it's a great way to attract VIPs online. All right, so hack number seven. Why should you join as a VIP? Why should we join? Why should we a customer join you a consultant? Because there are loads of perks. There is so much in it for the customer, right? Don't keep these a secret. Tell people about these perks. Okay, so we've got free shipping. We've talked about that, right? And we've talked about the 30-day money-back guarantee. But what about beauty rewards points? Beauty reward points are fantastic. They give people access to free products. What's not to love? So let's have a look, right? You want to convey that it is easy to shop, easy to collect, and easy to choose the products that people want. All they have to do is these three points. They have to shop, and then they earn beauty rewards points for every purchase. They collect these and can save their points up to 12 months, and then they get to redeem their products by choosing the free ones that they want, right? I know you will know this, but it's always good to have a refresher. Are you telling people about these great perks? If you're not, you should. Remind people that every time they reach the free delivery threshold in one order, they will get enough points for a free product in tier one. That's fantastic, right? Already you're going to get a fantastic free product. So one beauty reward point is more or less equal to one um, BP. So that's a good way for you to keep track. And remember that all of the products that are available are best selling and most popular products. So it's not like we're just giving away, you know, things that we can't sell, or products that we might discontinue, that some brands do. We're actually giving away to VIPs the best products that we have. And they're, you know, they're not inexpensive either. So tell people about it. Now let's have a quick look at what those free products are. I mean, for level one, we are talking about the Swedish Spa Soft Tide Hand Mask. Remember, that was featured in the Mirror magazine. We're talking about the One Five and One Wonder Lash. We sell one of these mascaras every seven seconds. I mean, what's not to love? And then if you're in level two, we've got the Swedish Spa Body Butter. We've got GG Iconic Matte, the Makeup Setting Mist. I mean, we've got fantastic products here. And then in level three, some amazing products from Novage, right? We've got the Day Shield, which is fantastic. It's a top seller. We've got the facial oil capsules and we've got the overnight mask. So tell people about how fantastic these products, these products are, right? Because that's the kind of thing that's gonna help you get people through the door. So how do you do it? Well, these are some examples of copy that you could use. You could say, well, who wants free products with their orders? DM me for details. You could say something like this. What have all of these products got in common? And then you could show a screenshot of products in tier one, for example. And the answer is you can get one for free when you collect free reward points from me. DM me and I'm going to tell you how. Or you could try this. You're getting this message because you've ordered from the one before. So you could look at everyone that's ordered from the one, before, the one before from you, either offline or online, and then you can say, well, guess what? If you spend thirty pounds, you're going to qualify for the five-star rated one five and one wonder lash and scarf for free. We sell one of these every seven seconds. So that's a fantastic, you know, message to help with to sort of guide people and get them buying from you again. Or something like this: take your shopping to the next level when you register as a VIP with me. You'll get perks like free shipping and free products. Who wants to know more? So tying the free products and beauty reward points to free shipping. Make it easy for people. 
So I want you to have a look through these and think about how you could personalize them and make them, you know, into more of your tone of voice and how you're going to incorporate free products and beauty reward points into your messaging. Now, for people that are already shopping from you, don't forget to go and look at your personal um, bonus points report because there you can see how many beauty reward points your VIP customers have. Right? You can sort it from largest to smallest and then you can prioritize who you want to contact. So you click on their name and then you can check their phone number or email address or you've got their full name so you can find them on Facebook, whatever you think the best way is to contact that person and then let them know about the free products they're eligible for or will be eligible for soon. Again, so some great copy that you could use. Hi, Sophia, I've just seen that you've qualified to get one of these best selling products for free in your next order. Here's how to claim it. Well, hi, Jody. I've just seen that you're only X points off getting a free gift with your next order. Here's how to get it. Or, hi, Mary. Did you know when you next spend, uh, you know, X pounds, you'll get the best selling Novage Deal Day Shield worth £21 for free? I mean, this kind of copy and messaging is super compelling. So I encourage you to do two things when it comes to this. One is to go think about how you're gonna incorporate free products and beauty reward points into your acquisition tactics to find new VIPs. And number two, I want you to go and look at your existing VIPs and see how you're gonna help them make that next sale to qualify for these free products that they are eligible for with their bonus points, okay? So that's a fun challenge for you to take on now, and hopefully you find these copy tips and copy direction, direction super helpful to help you get there. So great service. This is another great VIP hack. This is something that you offer that, you know, many beauty brands don't have. The ability to offer fantastic service and to do this, it can be helpful to think about where you're organizing your VIPs, right? Prospective VIPs could go into a new VIP group. Um, you could take your potential VIPs and based on their preferences and put them into different groups and think about where is the most relevant uh, place to be segmenting this audience. Now, social media is fantastic and groups on social media are awesome. And so many of you using, are using this to fantastic effect. But I'd like to remind you of the other options that are available. Uh, email groups, for example, are really, you know, a very powerful way to get into direct contact with people. And people are checking their emails more and more at the moment because they're at home. So think, if you've got people's uh, email addresses, could this be a good way to let people know about new products that are arriving or new products on offer? A good way to do this is to say to people, okay, um, You've shown an interest in, to, in this product, uh, for example, a skincare set. Um, is it okay for me to put you on an email list that I send out? I send out an email approximately once a month, just uh, highlighting what skincare products are on offer, or what complementary products to a skincare routine are available, and just highlighting the new, new products within skincare. And then if people agree to that and they agree that they want to be um, contacted via email, you've got that direct contact with them and you're not at the mercy of algorithms. You don't have to worry about Facebook changing their strategy. You've got that customer somewhere else. WhatsApp is also a fantastic way to get in touch with people using WhatsApp groups. So I want you to have a think about this. I want you to have a think about how are you segmenting your prospective VIPs and existing VIPs across different channels to communicate with them. And remember, if you tell somebody that you're only going to contact them once a month with an email, keep to that. People hate to be spammed, right? So remember to do that too. And when it comes to customer groups, a few quick hacks here. How do you run a really successful customer group? Well, you involve the community and you ask for questions or for people to vote. You share your experiences, but you also ask people to share theirs. A really strong group always has something exclusive in it, exclusive content that you can't find anywhere else. So don't put the same content in your group that you put on your business page or on your profile page. It should feel a little bit exclusive if you want somebody to be in there. Giveaways and competitions are a fantastic way of engaging people in a group. And if you want to, if other people in the group want to invite, they can, let them do that. That's how you expand your group and make it bigger. Another great hack to growing your VIP base 
is something again that you're able to offer that you know what many companies aren't able to is these one-to-one -one consultations so let me tell you a little bit about that well you know finding good products in these times is actually you know that's quite hard for people so we're seeing a lot of brands offering things like virtual facials or digital skin consultations or makeup masterclasses uh, online to basically offer a really personalized service to somebody to help them and guide them in their purchasing decision. Um, it's a great way of offering a personal touch to prospective customers. Um, it gives that sense of them, you know, visiting a rep in person. So I would like you to think about how you can offer a virtual service, right? So if you want, somebody could book in a 20 minutes uh, live call with you where you have a look at their skin and you talk about their concerns and you offer products based on that. That level of service is something so unique that you're able to do. And that one-to-one -one dialogue is going to really, really help you promote, some, promote relevant products to them. And remember, when you do these consultations, if you choose to, and you choose to do kind of a live one-to-one -one phone call with video on, and you, 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 know, you go down that route, I just want to remind you again about the science, the seeing is believing, and reminding them that they have that money back guarantee as well. So finally, the last hack available, limited time only. We are, you know, every three weeks we release new offers, new products. That sense of urgency is something that is extremely compelling when it comes to a VIP, when they only have that offer available until the end of the week, for example. So I just want to remind you that you should be including that when you're speaking online. So remind people that, you know, this offer is only available this week or it normally sells out. You know, this product sells out fast. So if you want it, get it now or something like this. You know, this offer won't exist tomorrow. If you want it, you've got to place your order today. Creating urgency supports you in making sales. So let's just go over the hacks super quickly again. Remember, you want to start with the products and start with that flywheel. Remind them of the fantastic VIP offer that we have on at the moment. Like I said, we've tried this in other markets and we've seen fantastic results. Use it. Don't forget to remind people of the reduced shipping fee and the free shipping when they spend over £30. Safety first, very, very relevant. Don't worry if you don't like, we have 30-day uh, money-back guarantee, Kate. And we are on trend. So remember to stay on trend, to join the discussion and feel relevant now. Remind people of the free products and beauty reward points that they can earn when they shop from you. Offer great service and think about the most relevant place to put those prospective VIPs so that you're having those conversations there. Offer one-to-one -one consultations. You can be really creative here. Think about how you could offer a one-to-one -one skincare consultation or a makeup demonstration to help you get those sales in. And urgency, another great tip. Remind people that these offers don't last forever. If they want them, they need to shop from you now. So that is our, uh, our 10 hacks that we've gone through today. As I said at the beginning of the call, if you have any questions at all, you can pop them in the field below or, um, or you know, contact Mary about them. And I will, of course, try to help you um, and answer them as soon as possible. So I'd like to thank you so much for your time today. And I'd like to wish you lots of luck in finding those virtual VIPs. And it was exactly 45 minutes. So thank you for sticking around with me for that time. Bye now.